Now that the ProHeat system is set up, it's time to program and operate it. This is the main control panel. The far left section features four displays. They indicate the actual temperature of up to four control thermal couples. A green indicator light beside each display signals that a thermocouple is active for control purposes. Moving to the system status section, this yellow indicator light identifies whether the system is set up for Fahrenheit or Celsius. A red light indicates a fault condition and signifies a problem, in which case the machine output will shut down. A message regarding the problem will appear on the display. The yellow light indicates a limit condition, signaling situations in which the operator may make adjustments to optimize the process. Troubleshooting instructions will accompany a limit condition and will appear on the system display. The blue light indicates that the heat is on and the output is energized. There is a green run button with a yellow light to indicate that the system is energized. A hold button also with a yellow indicator light, can hold the temperature while any corrections or adjustments are made. Here, the parameters for the program in process can also be modified. And there is a stop button, also with a yellow indicator light. On the right side of the panel, you'll find the system programming controls. The display provides real-time operation information, programming information, system parameters, and, when necessary, diagnostic information or troubleshooting instructions. There is a series of buttons below the display used to select a particular mode for the system. Program is used for system programming. Run status provides real-time operating information. Parameters provides power source operating parameters. And cooler turns the cooler on and off. You can program the ProHeat using manual or temperature-based control. Manual control allows programming of a specific power level for a specified period of time. Here, the only programmable selections are command power and run time. For demonstration purposes, we will show you how to operate the ProHeat using temperature-based control. When the program button is pressed, four procedures are displayed. They are preheat, bakeout, post weld heat treatment, and custom program. The select button to the left of the display is used to move the cursor between the procedure selections. Line up the cursor with your choice to select the desired program type. In this case, preheat. A message will appear on the display to again push program to view. When preheat is selected, the display will show information. In a preheat program, you must enter a temperature and a soak time. Use the increase and decrease buttons on the right to select the parameters. You must also pick your thermocouple controls. The display for run status will provide the program type, the target temperature, the time left to complete the program, and the current status of the program. The parameters display will indicate the power output, amperage, voltage, and frequency of the power source. It will also provide information on the monitoring thermocouples the ones that are not used for control. To then run the preheat cycle, simply press the cooler button to turn it on, then the run button. The blue heat on indicator light will illuminate to indicate output to the induction coils. This is a demonstration of a preheat program as it is running. The system controls on the hottest thermal couple going up and the coldest thermal couple going down. It will not go into soak until all thermocouples are within tolerance range. When selecting a hydrogen bakeout, you must program a temperature and a soak time similar to preheat using the select and increase decrease buttons.
You must also select a controlled cooling rate. Entering a controlled cool temperature equal to the soak temperature will eliminate controlled cooling and the system will turn off at the end of the soak time. Post weld heat treatment or stress relieving is normally an automatic process. You must set targets for controlled heating and controlled cooling and set ramp rates. Use the select and increase decrease buttons to set the program. Many times in a simple post weld heat treatment, the heating and cooling temperature targets and rates are the same. For example, the target temperature for controlled heating and the target temperature for uncontrolled cooling are the same. Similarly, the rate of controlled heating and cooling are the same. The soak temperature and soak time will vary depending on material type and thickness. In cases where applications are complex or unique, the ProHeat lets users design a custom program. The custom program feature allows you to program up to 10 segments, consisting of steps, ramps, or soaks in any combination or sequence. Moving the cursor to segment allows you to number your stages. When the cursor is moved to the type position, the increase or decrease buttons will change the segment type to a step ramp, soak, or end. Step increases the temperature in the part at full programmed power. A maximum temperature of 1450 degrees Fahrenheit can be programmed. Ramp increases or decreases the temperature in the part at a controlled rate in degrees per hour. A maximum temperature of 1450 degrees Fahrenheit and a maximum rate of 9,999 degrees per hour can be programmed. Soak will hold temperature for a program time. A maximum hold or soak time of 99 hours and 59 minutes can be programmed. End is programmed to indicate the completion of the cycle and termination of output power. When using the ProHeat, its control panel will provide helpful suggestions for improving heating performance. The display will tutor you with instructions for optimizing the process. The ProHeat is designed to deliver power based on the configuration of the heating coil. The maximum power is based on the operating amperage and voltage, which depends on how the coil is wrapped on the joint. In a non-optimal cable arrangement, the power source will continue to deliver power but will protect itself from over voltage or over current by reducing the power output. An example of a common condition involves output voltage. Should the maximum output voltage be reached at any point during the process, the power source will reduce the output so the voltage maximum is not exceeded. When this happens, a message is displayed on the ProHeat. The message gives the operator the option to either acknowledge the condition by pressing the minus button or obtain more information by pressing the plus button. By acknowledging the maximum voltage, the message is removed from the display and heating continues at a reduced output. If the operator requests more information, helpful information on how to improve the situation and increase the power output will be provided. Additional support information is provided through the yellow limit light on the control panel. This light indicates that the power source output is being limited due to a temperature problem in the power source or cooler. This will automatically reduce the output to protect the power source, cooler, or heating coil. In a limit condition, the operator acknowledges the limit by either pushing the minus button to continue the operation or by pressing the plus button for more information. The display you see here is an example of a limit condition message. To acknowledge the limit and continue operation with the existing setup, press the minus button. The yellow limit light goes solid. If a new limit condition occurs after the first is acknowledged, the limit light will flash to indicate a new problem. The display will outline the new as well as the previous limit. For additional information about the limit and suggested solutions, press the plus button. 
Some changes can be made during the heating process, like adding coolant or changing to a redundant thermocouple, while others require stopping the heating process. After changes are made, press the Run button to restart the process. Red light faults indicate that output has been terminated due to a problem with the system. At the same time, messages will appear on the display with information on the type of faults, as well as suggestions for operating the ProHeat. When the fault message appears, press plus for more information. In most fault cases, service will be required. However, some simple checks may indicate a solution to the problem and operation can be restarted.